Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you ALT Academic Report Writing Task 1 Overview and Practice. So let's begin. Alright, let's take a look at the two tasks. Task 1 is Report Writing Academic 150 to 180 words in 20 minutes and Task 2 is Essay Writing both Academic and General 250 to 280 words in 40 minutes. So friend, in this video I'm going to share with you Task 1 Report Writing for Academic. Alright, let's take a look at the task assessments. Task achievement is 25% in which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% belongs to coherence and cohesion. Use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource. Use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range and accuracy. Make sure you include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple, compound and complex. Now, let's take a look at the segregation of paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is introduction. Paragraph 2 is overview. Paragraph 3 is make analysis and group comparisons of different years. And paragraph 4 is make analysis and group comparisons of remaining years. Now let's take a look at the types of graphs that we can get. It can be anything like a bar graph, bar chart, line graph, flowchart, table. So if you want to describe facts and figures, take help of bar graphs, describe tents through line graphs, comparison through tables and pie charts, describe a process diagram or map, and describe a flowchart. Okay, let's take a look at the recent exam question, graph 1. The pie charts below show the online sales for retail sectors in New Zealand in 2003 and 2013. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. So let's take a look at the two pie charts. One belongs to 2003 and the other is year 2013. Let me present an idle answer that can help you score a good band. Pie charts compare online sales of clothes, books, travel services and films or music in New Zealand between 2003 and 2013. Overall, online sales of books and movies or music rose in a decade while clothing and travel-related services witnessed a drop in sales in New Zealand. As is given in the pie charts, online travel services sale ratio skyrocketed in 2003 precisely 37%. Clothing and film or music each made 22% of total sales and it was 3% refined than the online sale ratio of books. After a decade, the sale ratio of clothes dipped by 6% whilst travel services with Nesta drop in online sales as well. Precisely 29% of online retail sales were from the travel industry. Reversely, online sales of books and films surged in 2013 reached to 22% and 33% respectively. It is worth noticing that approximately one third of all online retail sales in 2013 was for film or in music industry though its sale volume a decade ago was less than a quarter of total online retail sales. All right, let's move to the graph two. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The number of tourists visiting Malaysia and Dubai from 1995 to 2003 is presented below. Write a report for a university lecturer describing the information shown in the diagrams below. Write at least 150 words. All right, let's take a look at the line graph here. So let me present another idle answer that can help you score a good band, friends. The line graph compares the number of travelers who visited Malaysia and Dubai from 1995 to 2003. Overall, more tourists went to visit Malaysia from 1995 to 2000, but afterward, Dubai outshined an even greater number of visitors. Getting back to the details, 1,000 tourists 
visited Malaysia in 1995 and it was more than double the number of holidays in Dubai at the same time. Next year, visitors to Malaysia rose while declining to Dubai. Afterward, the number of vacationists in Malaysia and Dubai rapidly escalated and in 1998, 200,000 people took the trip to Malaysia compared to over 150,000 in Dubai. Interestingly, holidaymakers number to both these places became identical and reached to over a quarter million in 2000. Next year, both countries witnessed a hike in the number of tourists, which stood at around 325,000. A reverse trend during the next few years followed with more tourists in Dubai than in Malaysia. In 2002, however, Dubai got more trippers and this trend continued in the next year when 0.4 million vacationers visited Dubai compared to less than 0.25 million in Malaysia. So thank you so much friends for watching my video and keep watching more IELTS writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.